Hello and welcome. This is the new version of Electrocrystone Inverter Battery Interface Module, which monitors your inverter battery as you're using it, and then automatically starts the generator when the inverter battery level is low. Okay, so I'm going to do a short demonstration now by turning it on. Sorry about the flickering uh, display on the voltage meter. That has, to with, that has to do with the camera being used to record. Okay, so now the system is um, on, but the generator is not running yet because the battery, I'm using this to represent our inverter battery bank. And then of course the voltage is still good at 13.1. Uh, our inverter should be running very very fine so the gen is not starting yet but uh, let's assume that the voltage drops okay the moment the voltage drops the generator is started automatically by the system and then the moment the gen starts we assume that power will come back and start charging the battery okay so um Right now, the gen timer is counting. You know, the moment the gen starts, the timer begins to count. The current setting is 30 seconds. So at the end of 30 seconds, it should stop. That's it. It has stopped by itself. Now, the timer can be adjusted to any value you want. <coughs> you can put it on hours. This is minute setting, M for minutes. Can change it to H which is for hours right now that's 30 hours 30 H so you can adjust to any value you want to suit your timing needs for generator battery charging okay so basically um, the system is so easy to use if you don't need the I beam you can turn it off or bypass it completely when you bypass it, your gen will still start, you know. Um, it, it will just be like you don't have the high beam in place at all. Like you are completely bypassing it. You are using, let me use the common language, you are jump, jumpering it. You are jumpering it, meaning that um, those two terminals that are supposed to start the generator, you are using a wire. To bridge the two together that's what this does it bridges those two terminals together so that the gen can start without um, any any delay or any uh, command being awaited from the i beam okay so but now i want to put it back on and then back in the on mode it keeps monitoring your battery and then again once the battery drops Okay, the gen starts immediately. Okay, so don't forget I said you can always adjust this to suit your timing for generator charging of battery. You can set it to one hour if you prefer one hour. After one hour, the gen would stop. Now I need to mention that during that one hour period, if power comes, I mean MEPA or PCM, if power comes. Uh, provided you are using this box with an ATS, automatic transfer switch, the automatic transfer switch would cease power. <clears throat> it will take power, um, let me use another language, it will transfer power from mains to the house and then it will cut off the generator and shut down the generator. So even though this is still running, you know, like time is still counting here or let me say even when the command for general is still on the ATS would have turned off the generator already then as soon as power fails if this counter is still counting let's assume that you put it on one hour and as at the time power goes away again it is at, at uh, 40 minutes it has counted up to 40 and still has like 20 more minutes to go it will resume the count i mean it will resume the operation of the generator for the next 20 minutes to complete the to complete the one hour session so uh, that is um, 
that is how simple it is how easy it is to to install or to use now we have uh, six set of terminals here the first set here on the left they are for power ac power to operate the box itself the box needs ac power to operate which you can take from your inverter output your inverter ac output okay now it requires battery connection as well so that you can monitor your battery the label we have here is for 12 volt battery but it can do higher than 12 volt it can do 48 volt battery bank um, connection as well then the last one here is for sending a command to your generator through the ATS so the connection here goes first to the ATS which is automatic transfer switch or your automatic changeover as some people call it and then from the ATS all the way to, to the generator so basically the I-beam and the ATS they are working together to control the generator so that will be all for now thank you for for your time and for your attention god bless